Oh my god, we just got the text from our real estate agent and it's official! Ah! We're homeowners. We're homeowners. We are headed to a mattress place right now to check out what mattresses we want because, you know, mattresses are a very important investment in your life. Right, Kevin? We're gonna finally upgrade to a king-size mattress because we're both starfishes on the mattress. I'm not a star. I'm a starfish. You do take more space than you think, Kevin. I'm literally all the way in my own corner. So that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna go to a cabinet place and then we're gonna meet up with our real estate agent and do the official transfer where they will give us the keys. We also bought new key sets because you have to change out the keys to your door in case anyone for some reason has the keys to those doors. Safety first, y'all. Interesting things you gotta do on day one. But it's a different ah! Hello, hello. I may sound a little different. I'm using a different mic today, but I want to say I am mattress shopping. I currently own a Queen Helix Midnight and Mayuko told me that she has the California King version. She absolutely loves it. So I am looking into upgrading, but I don't know what softness to get because like I'm a side sleeper who wants to be a back sleeper. So I want to get something like a soft to medium bed, but I know like firmer beds are probably healthier for my back. I really like the Helix mattresses. It's one of those mattresses in a box types very convenient but what sucks is that they have so many options i have so much decision fatigue from my pm job that i literally cannot make any decisions in my real life it's just i, it's, I, I, I don't know what to say but <laughs> kevin save me whoa this is my view from what it's like sleeping with kevin <laughs> no so I don't like our kitchen cabinets. They're gray. I hate gray. So I forced Kevin to come look at cabinets with me. I really love white high gloss cabinets. They just look so elevated. So we looked at three coats, matte, thermofoil, and acrylic. Matte looks like paper. Thermofoil has this orange-like texture and acrylic is the cleanest, but most expensive. And I am a bougie girl. The guy said it'd take about 10 to 15 business days to renovate, which is three weeks without a kitchen. And they quoted me 20 thousand dollars for acrylic high gloss at my place so uh that's a lot and i think we're gonna wait a bit hello this is day one in the home we're here on closing day we're just checking if everything got fixed properly because we sent in like a request for repair and uh yeah closing day our real estate agent is here and he gave us a bottle of champagne to celebrate so sweet oh, what are we supposed to do like today? Whatever you want to do. Okay. You can paint the walls, you can... Closing just means we get the keys. Closing means that everything is done. Okay. The city recognizes you as the new buyers. It's done on all angles. Title, record. Wow. You guys are on here. We just don't have internet and water. <laughs> Our agent said that the closing process for this house was the longest he's ever had in his career. And aren't we just the luckiest people ever? Mm -mm -mm. But anyways, we made it, so let's call mom. Mama, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to 有啊有啊我们有买保险啊然后我们在处理那个wifi的情况security camera does not work if there's no wifi mama oh <笑> 可以找一只狗吧一只狗一只猫猫跟狗可以同时养他们就会在一起再看吧家里有狗有没有那个半夜有声音他们都会叫耳朵好<笑> Hello 大家早安 Yesterday we officially closed the house Today we went to go pick up these mirrors that we bought from Facebook Marketplace right over there and then we're heading over to the house to drop it off. We do not have any Wi-Fi at the place so we bought the T-Mobile 5G home internet where it's just like a pod and we just get internet there so I could go to the house and work for a bit before we move in because we're doing some Reno. Anyways, going to the house, I'm gonna show you around a little house tour, a little sneak peek of the place. Bye bye.
我们到家了，哇 ！We are here in the living space. Check it out. Wow. I don't have a tripod on me, so I can't really make some cool angles. But I hope this is okay. The kitchen area is very, 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 very gorgeous. It is humongous. We will be putting bar stools here, dining table here, and the vitsu shelves here. I'm gonna put the couch here and a TV on this side. Probably a piano keyboard here, and then probably our nice accent chairs there. And this is just a leftover boxes. Let's go to the next room. This is the Facebook Marketplace mirror. I didn't take out this yet, just in case we do renovation and it gets dirty. So I'm gonna take that out after. This is going to be my my office space. Ah! So I have a closet and then a restroom over there. It is very lovely. It is huge. The lighting is awesome. I cannot wait to make the home office of my dream. We'll make it together. And we got Kevin's office, which pretty much looks the same. Um, we're gonna have our guest bedroom here. No, no, here. And then Kevin's desk there. Unfortunately, the lighting in this room is garbage, but he was willing to make sure I got the nicer room because he's the best. Ah. So anyways, that is his office. We're gonna have to fit a queen size bed in there for the guests. So I don't know if we're gonna get a little squishy, but we'll, we'll see. Kevin's parents are coming in a couple weeks and they will be the first guests that we're hosting at the house. Ooh. Hey Kevin, what's up? Hello, I'm setting up with our staff. Wow, thank you, IT support. Let me put you down, all right. Okay, again, sorry about the weird angles. This is the master bedroom, it is humongous. I really don't think we need a master bedroom this big. We do have a double closet situation, which is insane. I don't have much planned besides we're gonna get a king size bed. That's all I have in my head so far. It's gonna be great. We have humongous windows that we need to get blackout curtains for because we do not wake up early. I'm planning to have automated curtains so that when I wake up, I can be like, hey, open the curtains and it'll just open for me. That way I can rise to the sun without me having to open it. Maybe that'll help me be a better morning person. Try to optimize my life here. I'll show you the bathroom. Whoa, look at the bathroom. We got a his and hers sink. Oh my God, there's a fly. <laughs> Our toilets are a little awkward. They're square. We really wanted to get a Toto bidet, but I don't think they fit this square shape. So we might just have to swap out the toilet or just poop like plebs. We have a great shower situation here. Water pressure is not that great. I don't really like it, but we'll see what we can do about it. Even though we just closed, there's still so many things we have to do before we can actually move in. We put our 30 day notice in. We try to negotiate less days so you don't have to pay as much rent and mortgage at the same time. It's gonna be a very costly month. Then we gotta set up all the smart home devices. We are a smart home family and we gotta do window treatment. After this, I'm gonna go to a housewarming party for my friend who bought her second house. I cannot believe we're at the stage of life where people are buying their second homes. Really excited for them. Uh, I'm gonna move you over. My butt's starting to hurt because we have no chairs. Three to four years ago, I saw a lot of my friends buy their first homes and I felt so behind. Reflecting on that today, I think I don't think I really should feel behind in life in general because like I could have not bought a home and it would have been fine. I don't think this was a good financial decision to be honest, but this was my personal dream. I think that one mindset that I have slowly adopted across the years was I stopped being jealous of my friends whenever they were ahead of me with the house, with promotions, because them succeeding doesn't mean that I can't succeed. It's not a zero sum game. I think whenever my friends succeed, I have a higher chance of succeeding. Like their success is my success. Like, I get to know someone who has gone that far. And it really showed in the house process because I'm not the first in my friend group to buy a home and I'm really glad I'm not. Because when I went through the process, I had so many friends I could ask for help, for advice, because there's not a lot of resources online to know how things should go and there's a lot of tricks. Just like weird cases that you need consulting and help and advice on. I'm very glad I had my friends to reach out to when shit hit the fan. So yeah. We've gone through so much together, Uniqlo's, from the San Francisco home to the LA rental to this. You've seen me through so many stages and I just wanna do better and better for y'all and bring some amazing shit to your feet. <laughs> Thank you for watching today. I'm gonna go head out to the housewarming. I'm gonna bring the bottles of champagne that I got from closing the house. See you next time. Bye, Uniqlo's. Mwah.
sorry, it's really noisy. This has been the POV of me on meetings this entire week. So everyone, like there's hella construction, hella commotion, but we're moving in. Oh. Whoa. Hey. <laughs>